the tears are because just when you think God is done or he's turned his back or it's just all gone wrong, he shows up bigger than you could ever imagine and provides in a way that only he can. So to anybody that might be about to give up on something, don't. Okay, I'm really trying to see if I should let y'all in on some real tea. Okay, only if you can keep a secret. Just, okay, lean a little closer, a little closer. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not that much of a secret because I've already put the news out, y'all. I am on this season of Raising Canaan, Power Book 3. I'm playing a character by the name of Kenya, and I am gonna give y'all a little scoop, a little insight on how all of this came to be right here on my channel, Leave It to LaToya. Before Raising Canaan, before that opportunity was presented to me, um, I was already casted in a show. It was, I felt a dream job, major network, a lot of big hitters in the cast. I had flown my family out to start shooting. I just felt like it was a life-changing moment. As a matter of fact, when I received the call that I had been casted in this role, um, my one of my best friends, uh, AJ Crimson was there and he filmed me um, getting the phone call and I was just overjoyed, overwhelmed. And I'm so glad I have that moment with him. That was one of like my biggest moments. And as a matter of fact, shout out to my sweetheart um, who is no longer with us, AJ Crimson, I will always love you. I think like a week before or a week after he received the call that he was gonna start um, doing the makeup for uh, Black Panther 2. So we were having this big, huge moment together. I just felt like God was all in it, like this had to be him. The way things were just falling into place, I was like, this is God. This, it's it. Oh my God. 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 Oh
but if I do, am I gonna keep it? <laughs> Cause I just gone through that experience. Like even when you think you have something, it can still be taken from you and it hurts. And I'm like, I'm not really, I'm not ready to go through this again. And I fought my way through it. I was like, we either got this or we don't, period, you know? And so I sent the tape off to my agent and um, she called me back and she said, uh, you have a pen and they put a pen. They pinned you for the role. And I was like, what? She said, I think, I think you got the role. And I was like, okay, do I got it or do I got it? Like, she was like, give me 10 minutes. <laughs> and she emailed me back. No, she did a screenshot of the email from the casting agent and the showrunner, um, Sasha Penn, and they were like, we love her. She's our Kenya. Granted, I put a pause on it because I had just gone through that rejection. I had just gone through, we got it, you're it, you're the one, this is it. And the whole time I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? I couldn't even almost bring myself to enjoy this, this win because of what I had gone through, like right before this. But then I got the call and it was like, your deal is done. You are on Power Book 3, Raising Canaan. And I, I was in Cabo at the time with my girls and I just remember falling to the ground on my knees and thanking God. Even though some would say, well, it, it wasn't as big as the opportunity that you had just lost. I just remember feeling like God was so much in that, right? And that he didn't leave me alone. And this was not a moment where he let go and turned his back on me. He still has something else cooking. And I knew I had all the pressures of providing my kid for my kids. I knew I was still building a home. I knew I was like, I have everything planned and situated. I was financially straight. This is not just a hit for me. This is a hit on my kids from, you know, this is a hit on my family. He still managed to find a way for it to work out. This role, y'all, I can't wait for you to see it because this role stretched me as an actress. I will never forget this role because it came at a time when I was ready to give up. Yeah. This role is so far from any role I've ever played. I had to learn a different accent. Y'all know I'm country as hell. I'm country as hell. This girl is from New York, you know what I'm saying? Like she's, this is very far from Texas. Can you do your New York accent? Can I do my accent? I can't, listen, all right, this is already different. I'm not gonna even try because y'all don't understand. I had to like listen to different queen accents. There's, you know, there's different boroughs. So they all talk different. They all got they, did it just came to talk came up? <laughs> Cause y'all know I say talk, but talk, you have to like, it's a thing. I don't, I'm not gonna try it. I am not gonna try it. I just want y'all to see the show and we gonna go from there. But I'm proud of the fact that I was able to tuck my Texas for just a little bit so that I could come through with the role and do the thing. But it was very difficult. That's all I'm gonna say. So I play a character by the name of Kenya, who is Jukebox's mom. I'm sure you guys are familiar with her if you watch the Power series. Um, she's phenomenal. Hey, Haley, I love you. That's all the tea I can actually give you on that. Um, of course, in the past, I've played characters where people can't stand me or they love to hate me because I'm the, I always get cast as the mean girl. I don't know how y'all gonna feel about me with this role. I'm gonna leave it for y'all to see. It's kind of a cool feeling, like when you play a role like I did on Greenleaf Rochelle, uh, Rochelle Cross, uh, because, you know, even the ones that were like, I can't stand you, it meant I was doing my job. Everybody know I ain't mean and I'm not uh, conniving and all those things that they like to call Rochelle Cross. But you know, when an actor does a good job at delivering, um, it can make people feel a way about you. And that's kind of tough, especially when you're a personality or you're a influencer or a singer or something like that, where you want to be seen as yourself, your true self, but all they can do is see you as this character. So sometimes it's kind of hard being both because they like, I love Latoya, but I hate Rochelle Cross. Or I love it, you know what I mean? People are kind of torn in between like who you really are, no pun intended. So yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see and get to know um, 
Kenya, but she's she's very different than any character I've ever played. Um, and it's such an extraordinary cast. I can't get the tears out my eyes. So y'all gonna have to excuse me if my lashes start to slide off. But I like was getting anxiety, y'all, watching the show the the first season, because I was like, yo, these people are good. <laughs> this is like a different this, I mean, these folks acting, acting. You know what I mean? This isn't singer Toya, this is actress Toya, and you will see this. I just love everything about it. And this is my first like gangster show. You know what I'm saying? I don't normally do stuff with the, with the poom poom and the ah ah. You know, I normally be like, oh, I love him. But this ain't, you know what I mean? So I think y'all gonna dig it. Cause I dug it. I think y'all gonna dig it. Once it comes out, I wanna know how you guys feel about it. Be nice, okay? I'm already going through things. Be, use your sugar word. If you ain't got nothing to say, Nice to say, you know how your mama say, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say none at all. Be nice, cause I was doing my best. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think about my New York accent. I'm not gonna do it here cause it's gonna be bad and I ain't worked in a minute. I ain't worked on my accent in a minute. So I'm gonna let that be, but understand that was a whole nother thing. Like really losing my Southern accent was a problem. Like not a problem, but I didn't think I could do that. So. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. 